didn't last very long. It was a scary one for passengers this morning heading out of Buffalo. A JetBlue flight taking off from Boston about 6 a.m. suffered a bird strike. It's believed that the debris was ingested by one of the engines, causing it to vibrate and shudder, so the pilot quickly called the control tower. I think we, uh, we may have had a bird strike on takeoff. We got some uh, a vibration and some noise in here. We're going to have to come back and land in Buffalo. When they said bird strike, we, we were like, really? We, we didn't see anything. We didn't see anything hit the engine or anything. So it was really kind of a moment of, you know, just shock. And just we kind of just all sat together. We just kind of were really puzzled. There, was, there, was, there wasn't panic. There wasn't or anything like that. But we were really, um, we felt safe and we felt well taken care of. The 100-seat regional jet quickly turned around. It made an emergency landing back in Buffalo. No one hurt here, and passengers were put on other flights to head to Boston. Boeing says that airstrikes are not uncommon with birds. There are thousands of them reported every year. But there are safety measures in place to prevent them. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Christy Maria is live at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport in Cheektowaga. Chris, some interesting measures taking place. Ashley, those in charge of the airfield here tell me there are many strategies to keeping birds off of the runway, but for here, they prefer to keep it simple just by using a loud noise. Now, to make sure the Wildlife Patrol is doing everything properly, the airport undergoes a wildlife hazard assessment every five years. The most recent assessment? Well, that one was today. Wildlife patrols at different airports use dogs or even falconry to move birds away from the runway. But here, they use a starter pistol with a loud round that shoots up in the air to scare the birds away. Take a listen. We're in constant contact with the towers, so they'll let them know the location where they are and what, you know, what location on the airport the birds are flying to and from, and they'll let us out there between flights. So it's always in constant contact with the tower controllers. People who work near the runway tell me they can hear those rounds going off all the time. Now, earlier I spoke with a woman who was on this morning's JetBlue flight. She told me after turning around, the plane made a smooth landing, and she got to Boston earlier this afternoon. Live at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Christy Maria, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank